it's like a tower defense game basically except there's no maze um, at the moment it's just a loose collection of sort of game or play ideas and everything's a bit messy as you can see um, all these graphics are obviously crappy developer graphics and most of them are actually pinched off the internet so um, they're just work in progress stuff and for the purposes of this prototype basically the idea is you have this central fort um, and you have a group of soldiers that you can move around by uh, setting waypoints um, you can also when there's a officer you can exert an area of effect circle um, and then when you release anyone under that circle becomes part of that officer's squad um, and we'll sort of join them um, and move as one with them so I'd have to set sort of multiple waypoints so I can just set one one set um, this is like a sort of uh, level where I'm being attacked by waves of sort of fast alien kind of animals um, a bit like sort of starship trooper troopers and all that kind of thing um, this prototype only has this one has this one level but with three different sets of enemies in um, I'll try and show you that in between each level you can um, spend skill points which your soldiers earn for getting kills and completing objectives and you can use those to buy weapons um, and armor and that kind of stuff um, I guess for the purposes of this I should show you, show you something so I'm going to give um, my uh, captain a, a rifle and give this guy an assault rifle and a shotgun for this guy um, I can also um, promote NPCs and so I'll make this guy a corporal for now so this next level, I'm not sure what the enemy type is, but um, I can basically just start positioning my troops. Uh, I've also got uh, turrets here, which will be quite a, um, you know, you'll you have to purchase those kind of things, and you'll be able to purchase upgrades to your central base and this that kind of stuff. So this level is again against fast-moving, um, but lightly armored enemies. Um, they go down pretty quick, but they're just sort of the waves and the, the number of them can overwhelm. Um, NPCs also have grenades, which um, at the moment are pretty useless. Uh, this guy's come over here to chuck this one, and these guys avoid it, but they avoid it a little too efficiently, so it's quite hard to hit anything. Um, these guys here are getting pretty nastily destroyed, but managed to survive. In this next level, I'm not sure what the enemy type is, um, so I'm just going to move some guys around as a general defence. So uh, lower ranking NPCs only uh, get a smaller area of effect in which they can uh, get people to join their squads. Okay, so these guys are um, riflemen, um, pretty outmatched by my guys. This is sort of unrepresentative of, of a natural level because uh, the balancing is all out and you know, um, there's not enough bad guys to actually prove a problem. <laughs> Got um, another wave of aliens coming in now, and then I'll show you the final enemy type um, in this current version uh, after this level. The turrets are kind of dumb at the moment; they just sort of spin around, shooting aimlessly. So I need to work on that AI. And then the final enemy type is, yep, you guessed it, zombies, because that's what every game needs. Um, all these are sort of work in progress still as well. These guys are super slow, but they um, are pretty dangerous when they get too close to you, and they take a lot of damage. Um, something else that happens in a squad is that um, any skills um, that are active 
on that squad leader also applied to the rest of the squad. So this one here is a range um, skill, and it just sort of increases the range of the people in that squad for a short amount of time. So that's it for now.